Welcome back everybody. Moving on to another question. The dimensions of a rectangular box is three consecutive even integers. The width is the smallest and the length is the largest of these integers respectively. If the height is increased by seven meters, the width decreased by two meters and the length increased by three meters, the volume of the box is increased by 2,880 meters cubed. What are the dimensions of both boxes? Okay, so this question is definitely one of the toughest you can get in this unit. It really doesn't get much harder than this because setting up the equation is going to be pretty difficult. There's a lot of steps to take, but I'm going to do my best to try to explain it. So, what do we have here? We have a rectangular box, so let's draw that for now. So we have a box. And we're told that the length or the dimensions of the rec uh, rectangular box is three consecutive even integers. So how can we represent three consecutive even integers with variables? Well, let's say that the first integer is x. Well, then the next even integer is going to be x plus 2, right? they're going to have a difference of two. So for example, even integers like four, six, and eight, right? If this was x, then the six would be x plus two, and then the eight would be x plus four, right? So this list here is three consecutive even integers. You got to put a space of two between all of them. Now, if it said that the dimensions of the rectangular box was three consecutive integers, then it would just be x, x plus one, and then x plus two. But the fact that there's this even here, you got to put x plus two, x plus four. The distance between each integer is two. Same thing if it said consecutive odd integers. We would represent it like this as well. All right, so these are three consecutive even integers. This is the smallest, this is the largest. And we're told that the width is the smallest. So this is the width here. So that's the smallest of the consecutive in, uh, even integers. So that's x. And then the length is the largest of these integers, which is this x plus four. Which means that the height of this box has to be the x plus two. Right? The width is the smallest, length is the largest, the height is the integer that is in the middle. So now what the question says is that we're going to create a new box and the height is going to be increased by 7 meters. So notice now how the height is x plus 2. Well, if we increase the height by 7 meters, that means the expression for the new height is going to be x plus 9. Right, this x plus 2, this height, plus 7 would give us an expression of x plus 9 for the new height. What else does it say? So it says that the width is decreased by 2 meters. So this is the width here. So if this is decreased by 2 meters, then this new width will be x minus 2. Right, and then the length is increased by three meters, so the current length now is uh, x plus four. And if we take x plus four and increase it by three meters, then we'll have a uh, new length expression of x plus seven. Right, so we have the old box, and now we have this new box. Right, so the height and the length increase, and then the width decrease. So now that we have these dimensions of both boxes, let's create an expression for the volume for each of them. So the volume of the old box, the volume of any box is what? Length times width times height. But to make it a little nicer, let's put this x in front times the length times the height, x plus 2. Right? So that's the expression for the volume of this box here. And what's the expression going to be of this new box that we created? Well, length times width times height, right? So x plus 7 times the width x minus 2. 
times the height x plus 9. It doesn't matter which order you multiply all of these in. Same thing here, I just wanted to put the width first because it's just nicer when that x is in front. So we have an expression for the volume of the old box and then the volume of the new box. Now, reading the question further, it says the volume is increased by 2,880 meters cubed, right? So the volume from this box to this box, the difference between them is 2,880 meters cubed. So we can create an expression saying the volume of the new box, right, this volume, minus the volume of the old box has to equal that difference, 2,880. 80 meters cubed. So taking that expression, writing it up here to give ourselves some more room. So the volume of the new box minus the volume of the old box represents that difference of 2,880. So now what we have to do, we have to sub in the expressions for the volume of the new box and the volume of the old box. So the volume of the new box is this right here, x plus seven, x minus two, and then x plus nine minus the volume of the old box, this expression here, so x times x plus four times x plus two, and that has to equal 2,880, right? And now at this point, it's pretty simple. This is just a big polynomial equation. So we're gonna have to expand this, expand that, bring everything to one side, simplify everything, and then just factor it. But getting to this point was the tough part, right? So the first tough part was basically letting x represent the, um, or creating expressions for the three consecutive even integers, right? x, x plus two, x plus four. And then knowing how these expressions for length, width, and height are gonna change with those changes that they mentioned in the question. And then realizing that you have to create an expression for the volume of the new box, volume of the old box, take their difference, and that's gonna equal 2,880. So getting to this point was a lot of work, and now at this point, it's just all algebra. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna foil out these two brackets here, leave the x plus seven in front, so when you foil them out, you end up getting x squared plus seven x minus 18 minus this x in front, I'm gonna leave there, foil these two brackets out, we get x squared plus six x plus eight, and that's still all equal to 2,880. Now, we gotta expand all these brackets, so basically we gotta take this x value, multiply it by everything in that second bracket, then take the seven, multiply it by everything in that second bracket as well. And then we could also distribute that x inside this bracket. So when we do all that, we get this giant expression here on the left side, and then that's still all equaling 2,880. And then at this point, we can just collect like terms. What's nice about this is notice how these x cubes are gonna cancel out, right? x cubed minus x cubed nets out to zero. Then we got seven x squared plus seven x squared minus 6x squared. So that would be 14x squared minus 6x squared. That would give us 8x squared. Then we got minus 18x plus 49x minus 8x, right? So negative 18x plus 49x, that would give us what? Uh, 31x. Then 31x minus 8x would give us uh, 23 x. We end up getting minus 3006, minus 126, minus 2880, minus 3006, and that's all equaling zero. And now we just simply have a quadratic equation to solve. Now you can try to factor this, and I think it actually does factor smoothly, but we're dealing with such huge numbers, and you can't take any numbers out of 8 and 23. So if you did want to factor it by decomposition, you have to multiply eight and negative 3,006 and then find two numbers that multiply to that big number and add up to 23, it's just gonna take you forever. So my suggestion at this point, just use the quadratic formula. So x equals 
negative 23, that negative b value, plus or minus that b value squared, minus 4 times 8 times c, which is negative 3006. And that's going to be all over 2 times the a value of 8. And when you end up solving that, you would get two results, x equals 18 or x equals negative 20.875. And if you remember, x represented the width of the original box. If you look back on the diagrams, so we can't have a negative dimension, a negative width. So we would just ignore that answer. So our answer for x is 18. And the question asks us what are the dimensions of the old box and the new box of both boxes. So now what we can do is we could just simply plug in this x value of 18 for all these expressions. Because notice all the expressions for both dimensions are in terms of x. So this x here is going to be 18. This length here is going to be 18 plus 4 which is 22, then we got 18 plus 2, which is 20, and then moving on to here, 18 plus 7 is 25, right, 18 minus 2, that would give us 16, and then 18 plus 9, that would give us 27. So the dimensions of the old box are 20 by 18 by 22, and then the new box is 27 by 16 by 25. All of it is in meters. And you can actually check your answer. So you can actually find what the volume of the old box is by multiplying all the dimensions. When you do that, you get 7,920 meters cubed. When you multiply all these dimensions, you get 10,800 meters cubed. And what's the difference between these? Well, if you subtract 10,800 from 7,920, you end up getting 2,880, which is what we're told that the increase in volume was in the question. So we can be pretty confident at this point that we got the correct answers.